right, guys. Today we have a 2016 Kia Cadenza. This is a V6 engine. Uh, the car has a problem. I had one before too. It overheat, but this one, the fans are not working clearly. The car came in here. I let the car run for a little bit. And as soon as the temperature got to a little bit more mid, I checked the fan. Uh, the fan did not come on. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna remove this, All right? I'll put that to the side. Just wanna show you the problem with this car. All right, if you have a Kia Cadenza, um, they make, uh, to, they started making it in 2014, I believe. And uh, the car has a problem. It's a good looking car from inside. So let me just move up my camera a little bit. All right. So here's a fan down here, right? Right here's a fan. And this is the wiring going to the fan. And we have a box over there, relay box, fuse box. Just wanna show you a few things. If you have this kind of car, just, there's a number uh, eight here, bolt. You could use a Phillips head screwdriver. Remove this one right here, right? This fan has a small little resistor right here. Let me take this apart. So you're gonna remove this number eight. This controls the fan speed, just like uh, the blower motor inside the car. So here it is, this is a resistor, all right? This is what it looked like, all right? It has three wires. This is the ground, and the other two wires are coming from the relay. There's two relays on this car. So I believe the white one is a high once that gets a power, the fan works on high speed. And uh, the middle wire, the brown wire, that's what it looked like, gray, brown, whatever you wanna call it. That's uh, low speed, we'll check that out. All right, uh, just gonna test this thing. All right, I'm gonna put this back, because at the moment, this whenever you using this, it has to be in this spot, so because you don't want to touch it, it'll get hot, it'll burn you. So let me just put this back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go cross. I'm gonna go get in my test light, and we're gonna go cross over to the fuse box. What we're gonna do here is let's come over here. See, let me just check my camera. You gotta open this fuse box. So all you need to do is press these two tabs, it should open up. And inside this, you're gonna find fan, fan relays. It says fan relay right there. I mean, it doesn't say relay, it says fan one, C fan two, C fan one. So if you look at it, this is the fuses. This one, there's nothing here, it's missing. See, there's nothing there, so there's nothing here. So he's gonna follow along. The two next to it, relay number one fan and two, all right? So let me get a couple of tools. I get a test light and we'll check those. All right, guys, bear with me. Uh, first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the relays you have to pull them real hard so use a uh, plier needle nose something like that this is a relay came off right here I'm gonna keep the motor right I'm gonna put this relay over here to the side so I know which one is which and I'll pull out the second one and usually the problem is these relays this 12 volt it says 12 volts on this thing 35 amps I don't know if you can see it let me let me angle it a little differently let me check out my light because the light is so bright. 12 volt, 35 amp, right? This little relay is not a good idea, right? I don't know why manufacturer did that. They should have really used big fat relays. These things inside the contact over and over and over and over, it gives up. 
all right? And that's why the fans don't work over time. All right, what I'm gonna do next is, um, this relay, this little middle, the middle leg, once these two make connection, the power travels through this little leg here into the middle wire, and those are the two wires, one from each one that comes over here to the to the fan uh, resistor. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna connect my test light just like that. I'll connect my test light there and let me bring it over so you can see a little better what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my test light and uh, the black one cable here I know it's ground and I'm gonna put my test light here I'm gonna leave it here in an angle where it will not fall and every time I'm gonna make a connection there just to test if the fan does come on right Give me a moment, I'm trying to set everything up so we can see. All right, this test light should come on every time I make a connection. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this a direct power. Don't try this if you don't know what you're doing. I'm gonna give this relay a direct power right into the middle cable. This is the second relay. And the fan should come on and my test light Okay, my test light did not come on because this is the low speed, right? So the low speed is on that gray wire, the brown wire, right? And the fan comes on on low speed, right? And what we'll do is, now I'll connect the relay number one directly in the middle. Now my test light should come on and the fan should work on high speed. Okay, for some reason my test light did not come on. Maybe it's not a good connection. Let me try one more time. Okay, not a good connection on my test light. Maybe it wasn't a good connection on the low speed. All right, let me fix up this and then you can see better. I don't think I have a good connection here. Give me a moment, I'm gonna set everything up again and then we'll try again. All right guys, we're gonna try one more time, just, but just pay attention to my test light right here. And uh, I had it working. There it is, all right? Test light comes on and the fan goes on. All right, that's it. So the fans work on high and low speed, everything works. And uh, if you have a problem, you know, just change these relays. So let me put these relays back in the spot. We'll get new ones and put them in, but we do have to speak to the customer first. All right, so if you have a Kia Cadenza, you have an overheating problem, try this. Just check out this, check out the relay fuses, see if the fan works. All right, and if you have any other questions, you can message me, ask me anything you like, you know, any other repairs, and please do subscribe. You know, I need subscribers. A lot of people are watching my videos, but they're not subscribing. You know, I, I get like a thousand views, but no one's subscribing. You know, the only thing I'm helping me is that if you subscribe my videos and subscribe my channel and share it with your friends, you know, and uh, I can help you with a lot of other things, you know, not just any this particular repair, any other repair, you know. I can at least give you an idea what needs to be done, what you should be doing. All right. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Bye-bye.